One of the first projects that I designed for the RV is this charge monitor. It works great, but it is kind of expensive and it does take some effort to build. Well, I've come up with a cheaper alternative that you may want to look into if you do not want to go to the trouble to build one of these. While not as accurate as my charger monitor, you can get fairly close with this $10 alternative. First of all, what is a charger battery monitor and how does it differ from just a voltmeter? Well, did you know that the battery changes voltage slightly depending on its charge state? And here are typical voltages of a vented lead-acid battery depending on how much charge it has. And a smart charger typically has several modes, bulk, normal, and trickle. And again, they all vary by different voltages. And yes, you can use a voltmeter, but are you really going to remember all those different voltages? And that's why I designed the charger monitor, because you can look at just an LED and tell if your charger is in bulk, normal, or trickle mode if the battery is in discharge. So without needing the voltmeter and without remembering the voltages, you can do a quick look, look at the LEDs, and know what the state of your charge system is. Not everybody wants to build a project. And this $10 alternative will get you reasonably close to what the state of the charger and battery is. This is a combination battery and alternator output tester. And most of the output testers have several LEDs for the different battery voltages. And only a good and fail for the alternator. This one is a little different because it has three different voltages for the alternator. And it pretty much approximates the smart charger. That's why I like this one so much better than the other ones. And you can see we have 14 volts here, 13.5 volts, 13 volts, 12.5, 12.0, and 5 volts. And if you look at this chart, the column to the left shows the battery voltage with a range of 12.6 volts to 11.8 volts or 100% charged down to 0% charged. Next, the battery monitor column shows the LED status of the alternator from yellow low to green normal and to blue high. When you compare that to the two rightmost columns, the one labeled WFCO or Progressive Dynamics, those are the voltage outputs of the various smart chargers you may find on your typical RV. And you can see I've labeled the trickle charge, normal charge, and bulk charge of those voltages. And since the battery monitor is extremely close to the different charge states, we can actually use the alternator LEDs of the battery monitor to determine the state of the battery charger. And to make it easier to see the different modes that the charger would be in, I just created a label showing bulk, normal, and trickle. This had a magnetic strip on the back, so I installed it on a frame member. Run the wiring down, had one leftover spot on my distribution panel. You can see that the normal light is on. So the $10 solution works every bit as good as the more expensive one that I designed within a few limitations. And even though you may want to use this $10 version rather than the one that I designed and built, I still encourage you to go to my webpage to read up on it because I go through an extensive review on how the charge controllers work, how the batteries work, and how the chargers themselves go from mode to mode. So there's a lot of good information at the website.